My name is Bill McGowan. I joined the Department of State uh, in 2010 as a diplomatic technology officer. Prior to joining the Department of State, I served in the military. Then after that, I served in the private sector in IT and various technology roles before coming to the Department of State. What motivated me to join the Department of State? My interest in working overseas globally with other U.S. diplomats, providing uh, technology services in support of the mission uh, overseas and here at the State Department. My first tour was in Tokyo, Japan in 2011. I arrived in April, about a month after the critical tsunami disaster. At that point, when I arrived, I had an opportunity to, to see and, and really learn how uh, diplomatic technology and the State Department reacted to crisis and uncertainty. After serving in Tokyo, Japan, I served in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and I also served in Melbourne, Australia as the Information Program Officer. There, I oversaw the technology for the U.S. Consulate, and after serving in Melbourne, Australia, I went to serve in the Mission New Zealand. I served in Mission New Zealand as the Information Management Officer. I oversaw all the technology and the service there that supported the diplomatic mission, which included uh, a consulate and, and several other locations, which led me to here, uh, my domestic uh, tour here in, in, in Washington, D.C. Now serving domestically as the Endpoint Engineering Service Division Chief, I oversee uh, several uh, branches that supports the enterprise globally uh, in point technologies. So we're talking about uh, desktops, mobile computing, virtual infrastructure. I support the engineering services for uh, the State Department diplomatic uh, support and services. In the Foreign Service, I had several fulfilling experiences. I think one of the most Fulfilling experience and it continues to be to this day while overseas is being able to tell my story and my background uh, as, an, as an American. Uh, for example, I had an opportunity at one post to present an American dialogue series uh, and engaging uh, university students, and high school students centered around uh, American society, culture, and also um, technology education. Being an IT professional foreign service, there's a lot of uh, great experiences and perks. I think one of the best things about it is you're, been, you're on the forefront of different types of technologies, various technologies, and you're implementing them in various ways all across the globe, 270 posts. I think one of the most rewarding experiences from that is you're always continuing to learn, learn about new technologies and how to implement them uh, in several different types of locations um, and environments. I think those who are applying for the FATE Fellowship should read and understand the dimensions of a foreign service officer. Review the website and look at those dimensions closely. Serving as a foreign service IT professional, you'll have an opportunity to work at various levels of technology. The job role is very multifaceted. You may one day be supporting uh, high-level presidential visit, or you may be working across different technology networks. You may be working in cybersecurity. You may be working in, um, you know, data analytics. I think it's important again to really understand those dimensions and be, be prepared for a multifaceted career. This is not a, a one-track IT uh, role. This is, is something that you uh, have to have various knowledge of various technologies across the board.